It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2007, recorded Thursday, September 26th, 2024. You axolotl questions. On this episode of the Gizwiz, DGD has three more gadgets from Holiday of Play. I have another as seen on TV crappy gadget plus your videos. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now, now Andy, here he is, uh, the master make fun of, er, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very, very good. good. Are you out of harm's way for the impending, st for the storm that is hitting now? That is barreling down on Florida. I. It looks like I will be out of harm's way. It just... It looks like a lot of rain at the moment. So, okay. Okay. Uh, in fact, I I kept hearing that today was going to be this massive storm, and then it turned out there was just like no storm yet, and so it might be rolling in tonight. There's a chance we miss it. Anyway, seems like good luck all around for us over here okay, in good. Orlando. Good. So, good. So far, so far, crossing our okay. fingers. Um, hey, you had a, a cool thing that happened this last week. Your spot on oh, CBS. That was such great fun. I was on Sun, uh, CBS Sunday morning, their fall premiere show, uh, all about Mad Magazine. Much of it shot here at Disneyland. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I love that. Let's see. What, what was the... Uh, the wisdom that you imparted onto uh, the CBS crew. Uh, They're making fun is... of the government. Oh, They're well. making fun of IBM. <laughs> and hence, that's why parents are viewing. <laughs> There's Dickie D, there, there you are. Parents are and it's my are. desk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is Somebody... Disneyland. Yes. Wow. Dickie Bartolo was around even longer. I have been in every issue for about 55 years. Every issue? Yeah, and I got paid for about half of it. <laughs> at this very desk, he wrote yeah, look at that, of look at this. Parodies, including oh The Da Vinci Coma, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Out, and Try Panic. I remember as one of those readers not understanding all the jokes. Sometimes you were making fun of stuff that were over my head. Well, that was sort of the charm. <laughs> and we figured either kids will get it or they won't and they'll look it up and find out. Or five yeah. years later, they're looking at old man saying, oh, now I get that joke. You don't play to the dumbest person in the yeah. room. Yeah. That oh, is yeah. awesome. Oops, I didn't mean to click around, but uh, that is awesome. That is yeah. so, so cool. So encourage people to head to CBS and uh, the, the title of what you could Google is the irrelevant legacy of Mad Magazine is the... Is there and there's a version also on YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. Um, no, and, and also, so, I think many, uh, a couple of months ago when they were shooting this, when the producer of that spot called and said, we need three hours to set up. And I said, what? Three hours to set yes. up. Yes. I said, he, uh, anyway, they called back and said, we can do it in two. He said, let me explain. This is how we do this show is each person has their own camera and their own cameraman. Oh. Because if you tell a joke and David Pogue responds instantly and we just have one camera, by the time they swing over Too to late. get David's reaction, right. it'll, it'll be missed. And he said that this way we have everything everybody said and we can edit it and make very sharp edits between comments. So um, you had you, all three of y'all in there, three camera operators, a producer in your studio. You had how many people yes, was in that? It, in, 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 in Disneyland. And David Polk said, can I bring my son? And I said, uh, yeah. 
I said, is is he thin? <laughs> yeah. We can put him in the bathroom. That'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so we we managed to do it. You say you don't need um, three hours to set up here because you don't. There's not no, a lot. No, no. We need three minutes. Is good. Three minutes. Three minutes. Is it's good. a New York apartment, folks. A New yeah. York apartment. But uh, I have a, a present for you and Josh is while I was up there, um, Stephanie, who was the lead uh, curator, said, do you need anything from the gift shop? Oh. And I said, in case my producer and my co-host, Chad Johnson, can't make it, could I get two copies of that $20 uh, kind of history of the, ah. it's uh, it's a 60 page uh, self covered book awesome. with everything about the show and what's in the show and some mini bios of everything. So I will autograph them and mail them out to Thank you. you. Thank oh, you. Yeah, That's no great. Problem. That's perfect. No that is awesome. That is awesome. I'm. This is so cool because you got to see it, and then it the uh, the the spot came out. That is. Oh uh, yeah, so it was great. It was great. Cool. It was great. That's so cool. Thank you so much for that. Um, oh, you're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. I didn't really have that exciting of a week, so I don't really have much to, to chat. About. No, should we just I went jump to the Jelly Roll stuff? concert. That was actually oh my, my big, God. That was my Oh my God. The Beautifully Broken Tour. Yes, yes. So Jelly Roll is a is a big country music star uh, that uh, I'm a big fan of. It's actually last week. It was on the 17th. He was in Orlando. I forgot to chat about it last week. But uh, yeah, it's great. It was just a great tour. It's just and, and fantastic. Orlando has a big symp uh, uh, concert place. Or yeah, we don't at, quite at have like a massive stadium because we don't have like an NFL team, but we have the Kia Center, which is a good uh, arena um, uh, style. You know, big you know for the uh, basketball games. So we saw it there at the at the Kia oh, Center. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 so if we need a really big, it's probably Tampa. Is probably where we'd go see it. An absolutely massive show, because um, they have the Bucks uh, Stadium over there. Uh, but yeah, the Kia Center was was where I saw it. It was it oh, was, okay, it was awesome. His show is insane. His uh, uh, I don't I don't know if you're a fan, but his um, uh, music is very down to earth, kind of sad, a little hard. Anyway, it's a really great show, and he like he ends it with this like waterfall anyway it's really cool um anyway that was all i did let's jump into the gadgets okay yeah. let's do it uh let's go to our first gadget from toy insider holiday of play we're at wowie fingerlings and we have a baby a axolotl. baby axolotl what is that an axolotl it's a mexican axolotl it's an amphibious Oh, like, like a real thing. Like a real thing. And some kids have them as pets. There actually is one influencer, daughter actually has one as a pet. Oh my God. But, so, but this, this is, one. This one is a fingerlings one. So it's the first fingerlings that also swims. But as you can see, when you head its head, you can't hear it because it's kind of loud in here, but it definitely plays a couple of songs, happy music. And when you pet its head, it has these lights. And here on the side of the packaging, it tells you what kind of mood it's in. So, oh, happy, sad. happy, sad. Oh, yeah. See an analyst immediately. Wow. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> right there, all in a, all in a Mexican baby wow. axolotl here. Wow. But what it also does, it also, of course, loves to swim and be kept in the water. So, I'll put this one is Alex the axolotl, and this one is Augie. And Augie is the Walmart exclusive. Alex comes with this inflatable pool for Oh, 19... that's very good. Yeah, for yeah. $19.99. And without the pool, it's $14.99. If you uh... and, and so this yeah. one is Walmart only? A Walmart only. The okay. purple one, Augie, is Walmart okay. only. Okay, you want the one with the pool? And it's on, on sale right now at Target.com and at Target stores nationwide. It'll be on Amazon in November. Excellent, excellent. And say the name again. Ax Fingerling. Fingerling's Baby Axolotl. Axolotl. Yes. Always great to see you. Oh, this is super, super. Fantastic. Having yeah. great fun here at Wowie. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. I've heard of an axolotl before. You have? Oh, yeah. They added them into Minecraft. 
I have a little, uh, here, this is, uh, this just happens to be right next to This is a little Minecraft toy set they sent me. This is an axolotl! Look at that! Attached to it! They added axolotls also into Minecraft, so I, I, we, I have, I have a little bit of axolotl Oh knowledge. my god, man, that's probably why they came up with that character. It was probably... They have been really? having a resurgence axolotl. There's like a little bit of a bump, like a popularity bump, for sure. Uh, oh. They make good pets, uh, uh, so yeah, absolutely. Oh, the real ones. The or, real or ones, the one, yeah. The real yeah. ones. They're, they're like salamanders, basically. Oh, okay. okay. They're very similar to, to like a salamander. Um, okay. And, and they're, they're kind of fun. Uh, and they look weird, and you can get them in weird colors. So people like them. Like they could be pink, oh, okay. blue, okay. and green, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, uh, so the one, the, the one on, yes, it's on Amazon, but it's like ridiculously priced because <laughs> it's not, someone is buying them, I think, on Target and putting them on Amazon. Uh, so for the best price, Target right now, and I think the one with the swimming pool is kind of fun because the swimming pool is colorful. Yeah. And it has yeah. the whole swim mechanic. It seems neat. yes, yes. And you can use it, and, and I like it. They, they hedge their bets by saying, "And it will guess your mood, <laughs> <laughs> not not tell you your mood. It'll take a guess. At It'll your take mood. a guess. It yeah. will choose a random one through six. That's yes, funny. Exactly. Um, exactly. Fun little toy. Okay, and that's what uh, this event is all about. Little toys. Yes, yes. Great. The next one. I, I, I love this thing, so let's take a peek. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't know what we can do next. There's so many things, but nothing really caught my eye. Wow! There's a stitch. This 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 is this has caught your eyes. This is this is this can catch my ear. What is that? Oh my god. This is real FX Disney stitch. So oh, he's a he's a, a puppetronic. So he combines oh, okay. combines puppetry with, with electronics and animatronics. Yeah. So you got blinking eyes, moving ears. You've even got a sensor on his nose so he can sniff. So if you get close, oh I, sniff. I, yes, I, yeah. hear, I oh my gosh. <laughs> and he's got a sensor in his mouth. So if you give him a cookie, yeah, he'll know. Oh. He does bite sometimes when he's being naughty. <laughs> Ugh, he said, yeah. And you can pat him on his head, stroke him on his head. He's got sensors there as well. Oh my God. Yeah. And he'll get asleep and snore. Now, in the back, are you just operating his mouth? Yeah. Are all the other electronics? So all will be revealed. Mean? So behind oh, okay. here, look at this. So your hand goes in oh, no, side it's inside. Fake. It's not real. Yeah, it's not as real as you thought, but, no. but from the front, yeah, you would swear he was real. Yes. But yeah, so you've got controls inside. So anyone from seven, six, seven years up can, can function. I can, and, I can see Yeah, it. of course. So it, it's a Put your hand inside, right. Right, and your thumb underneath. There you go. And you've got buttons you can press down, get his ears moving. There you go. Yeah, see how easy it is to operate? Oh my God. Oh, I, oh I, I think I, I can't get, oh, that's his nose. That's his nose. He's going to now sniff you. There you go. Ooh, wow. you smell good. Yeah. So this is from Disney? Yeah, this is a Disney Stitch product. Um, that my yeah, company, yeah, Stitch a brand? Stitch is a brand from Lilo and Stitch, the movie. Came out about oh, yeah, 20 yeah, years yeah. ago. And, and it's just got, it's just got bigger and bigger. So there's a lot of Stitch products on the market, but nothing like this one, like real effects. And, and is he out now? Yeah. Yeah, he's out now on Amazon. Amazon. So you can yeah, you can buy him on Amazon.com while stocks last because he sold out the first two shipments, but there is now stock as of today. Um, that'll be sold probably before Christmas because there are people selling him on eBay for huge money. And what, but it, what, what does it sell for on Amazon? It's, it's 80 bucks. 80 bucks. 80 okay. bucks on Amazon, but so don't pay $200 <laughs> on eBay. Now, do I need batteries for him? Yeah, three AAA batteries. Okay, three AAA batteries. Yeah. Okay. Well, buddy, that was really enlightening. Oh, that wow. is cool. Yeah. <laughs> This is so good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, oh. 20 years. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll say the chat room loves it. The chat room is is loving this puppet. Yeah, yeah Lilo. Well, yeah, Matt, Lilo. Matt Frank said there's another live action film in the works. There Maybe is. That's why. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Lilo and Stitch is coming out with a live action like they've done like with uh, the Lion King and Beauty and the Beast and all those uh, Disney movies. Um, so yeah, and Stitch is still, being a Disney dude, Stitch is still a huge character, massive character, um, so yeah, very, very, very popular, uh, easily a very popular, and yeah, I've never seen, I mean, I've seen plushes, and I've seen toys, but nothing with blinking eyes, and teeth, and a sniffing nose, very <laughs> unique, very unique. Yeah, I think it's going to do well. And it's almost a foot and a half tall. Hi. And it has a hundred different effects. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just open and close his mouth. Oh, and it speaks its own it speaks, language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a... what he says. You can tell how happy Stitch is from the that position of his That is so nose. cool. Ears up. And he's sunshine and rain. Oh, yeah, there's this little purr we probably couldn't hear in that. With lots more to discover. And then he goes to sleep when you pet him. <laughs> Stitch loves to play. That is really, really cool. Um, I really haven't seen, and, and it's really great that it's, like, you know, directly, that they're directly working with Disney, because... That's the sound that that character makes, you know? Yes. Like the, oh, and, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. really cool. I think it's called Tatalog or something, his language. <laughs> that is some lore that, uh, that's, that some Disney person would be proud of you for, for knowing. Um, that is crazy. The price yeah. is expensive, but it really is kind of one of a kind. I don't know. Of, yeah, um, it is. I mean, it does a lot. It does a lot. I, I think. Kids can have a lot of fun. I think it was six buttons back yeah. there that you can do the ears and the eyes and the make make them. Uh, I want to check out the store. They just had so much stuff. Wowie, I guess we know Wowie. They have they have they have a lot. Wowie is a big big brand. Oh, I guess that was the Disney store. Somehow I went to it's the a Disney. Disney. Yeah, no, yeah, I went not to the Disney, it's Disney. Anyway, uh, great, very good, very yep. good. Let's head on to the next gadget. Uh, and our final is something new from Crayola. It's a, it's an addition to their Scribble Scrubby Pets. <laughs> and this is the latest version. I'm at Crayola, and I found Scribble Scrubby. I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out. And here we go. So, Connie, what is Scribble Scrubble? Am I saying it right? Scribble Scrubbies. Oh, Scrubbies. Yes. Right, okay. Scrubbies, yes. Okay. So our Scribble Scrubbies are adorable pets. They are all types of pets. There are traditional pets, but they're also um, dragons and ocean creatures. We have 75 different oh pets. Oh, my gosh. If, I'm going to have you feel this. See how it feels a little soft? Yeah. All right. So this, this technology, you can take our washable markers, and you can color on this. Okay. And you can make all sorts of designs. I'm gonna just make a little. Uh, Adding a little right. bit of hair. Okay. All right. A little and bit then, of coloring. When you're done decorating, you can actually wash this off. Okay. And start all over again. All right. Ooh. So all of our sets. But the new thing they're adding brushes. is coming up. Some of them come with little tubs. You can put water in. Kids can wash it off, and then start and recolor. Oh, what do you? Why do you have a machine uh -huh. here? This is new this season for holiday. This is our new spray boutique. So before you just color. Yes, like okay, like you did. Yep. This this <laughs> one. You take the same marker, same types of markers, all different types. You pop one in. You close it, and then besides doing your own painting or decorating, you can do an airbrush technique over top. 
or underneath. Oh, okay. Oh, see this, oh, oh see I see. The airbrush? Yeah, yes, I do. So it gives a different pattern and a different element of artistic expression. And then when you're done with that, you can put a different color in. Let's try this one. Pop it in. Close it. Oh, okay. So that oh, seems wow. to be a heavier color. Or are you pressing heavier on the lever? Um, you can you can press a little lighter. Oh, okay. This, is a, this the color is more vibrant than the. Oh, uh, I see. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. that's like an aqua blue. Yeah. So in the kit, what is in the the kit? What is in the kit are four pets. Four pets. Okay. This whole backdrop. Can you paint on the backdrop? You can, and you can wipe it off. Oh, great. So great, if you yeah. set it up like this, and kids are painting and stuff like that, and they, right. they're like this, and all, uh, get can it I over try here. It? Yep. Go right ahead. Please do. Put, uh, push down on the white button? Uh, no, on the sides. On the sides. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm wow. going to make a circle. Oh, I'm trying to make my logo. <laughs> my mustache. <laughs> it's almost, almost fans. Fans can see the yeah, resemblance. Yeah, the true fans <laughs> know. It's almost, I knew, Ch it's I knew almost Chad like could Chad. see it. Yeah. How accurate can you be? <laughs> I may need a yeah, new prescription, but I can see this it. This sells for twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, my gosh. It has the four pets and eight colors and the brush and the backdrop. And the machine. And the, and the machine. And available now? Or? Yes, available um, nationwide. Nationwide, yep. okay. Very interesting. So an attachment that makes it like an airbrush splatter gun. Yeah, That's it's kind of cool. bizarre. And and like, it's so fun. <laughs> Crayola has taken crayons and every <laughs> year they have like nine new things. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah, I think this uh, is a little was... bit of a, uh, it's like, kind of like how Lego just started just like branching into other I feel yes. like Crayola's doing the same thing. They're like, well, we got Crayola markers, Crayola well, airbrush, Le Crayola. Lego is really expensive stuff. I I oh, saw yeah. something there and I thought, oh, this is cute. I'll do this. And I said to Dennis, it's ninety nine dollars. I said, I I don't want to do that. It was it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. There's a Lego store at Disney Springs, and I see people walking out of it all the time with the biggest bags. And I know, oh my god, I know that those bags are f filled with like six hundred dollars worth of Legos. <laughs> like it's in, <laughs> like I'll see some of the big. Uh, they have some of the like I don't even know what to search for, but they're like three hundred dollars a Lego set. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Lego is is. Uh, yeah, this was crazy. like a little tropical island. It was like a little island with like a tree on it, and I thought, oh, that's very cute. Yeah, ninety nine ninety nine. I yeah. thought. Yeah, yeah. How about the? Uh, here's an idea. The the Home Alone McAllister's house. Okay, I wish I could. Oh, here here's a good way to maybe like hide. I'm I'm focused on the photo. Okay, how much do you think this thing cost? It's not. Oh, the whole house. The whole house. How much do you think this costs? Two ninety nine. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're I right. guessed it. Oh, I can't you're believe right. it. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Oh, well, it comes, with, comes with five mini figures. <laughs> five mini figures and that little building, that little vehicle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Legos are Legos. Are look, just... Yeah. Look at that car. It's one hundred and thirty nine dollars. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, oh, there no. are businesses that just buy and resell Le Legos, like used Legos. I've seen on the side of the street, like a hand put inside that says, we buy Legos and like a phone number. Like, I'm not joking. That is a real business, a side hustle, wow. is just to buy Legos and resell them. And uh, I know people go through, like my parents used to look at uh, garage sales all the time. Um, for Legos because yeah they're worth their weight. Um, that's in great. Plastic. Yeah. Say it again. Yeah, and it's plastic. They're wor weight. Worth, worth their weight their in weight plastic. In plastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is uh, back to the Crayola Scribble uh, Scrubby pets. The pets are cute. The new airbrush is pretty cool. And twenty bucks for 
the, the electronic airbrush thing, I think was pretty reasonable. I thought that was, uh, that was not that bad. Um, oh, so I, since Rachel has... Oh. Rachel has the Friends Lego apartment. <gasps> oh, my gosh. This... Oh, this isn't currently available, but it's massive. Look at this. It looks like this is $380. And, oh my, and it got three, 3.9, 3 uh, 4.9 out of five stars. Yeah. Look at this. Look, it has a turkey. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. And you build it all, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Assembly required. Not a, a lot of assembly required. Okay. <laughs> Wow. wow. You were never into Lego? Did you have a Le were, did you No, when Lego I was a kid I had a rector and trains. Yeah. And yeah. probably just sticks, you know, and rocks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just trying to make fun. No, I was heavy uh, into trains. That's good. That's cool. And, and that's things cool. that ran. I think a rector set would have been a thing that uh that's probably what I would have gravitated yeah. to if uh, i yeah. grew up in the in the same time period yeah yeah we played with a lot of legos we had a lot of legos we typically in my childhood we didn't really buy a lot of the lego sets we just had legos that were just loose and so we would oh, make okay. whatever we wanted we wouldn't you know we just have a tub of blocks and you'd be like well i want the brown one Shh. oh here's a brown one no that one's too big Shh. Exactly. And, and you know, didn't Lego lose the patent on that? Yeah. So the they're now that's now like public domain. Like the block, the block sizing is I think public. So anyone can make bricks. Pu Lego bricks don't need to be Lego anymore. Well, um, instead of being the end of Lego, it's like the beginning. It's become of the resurgence. They're like, oh, we don't own ourselves anymore. Let's double down. Let's let's go big time. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. like I feel like the Lego aisle is bigger than ever. The Lego movies, the Lego video games are massive. I don't know if you yes. know this, but the Lego yes. video games. I mean, Lego Star Wars, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego uh, Harry Potter, all of those games are massive. I mean, they have just this insane yeah. cultural yeah. hold. It's great. Dennis and I were at Barnes & Noble the other day, and yeah. Dennis said, did you see that entire wall is Lego Minecraft kits? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Yep. Yep. Unbelievable. Okay, well, with that, let's head into Ta the crappy, into the crappy yeah, corner. Yeah, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, it is as seen on TV gadgets. Ooh. This, wait, wait here, let's just jump into the video. Blinding sunlight, you strain, you struggle just to see what's in front of you. You flip your visor but lose half your view. Not anymore. Introducing HD Vision Visor, the only sun visor that reduces glare and turns your vision into high definition. It's so clear. Clarity. Come on, this is amazing. With just a flip of your finger, your vision can go from ordinary to extraordinary. With color, clarity, and contrast, you can only get from a high definition. I'm getting it. Okay, well, we have the HD Vision Visor wow. here now. And as you saw from the video, this visor can basically replace sunglasses. Who needs sunglasses? Oh. Get them out of here. Uh, the HD Vision Visor uh, is the replacement. I was really intrigued that there is a day and a night uh, panel. Um... And I'm also, I'm not convinced that this is going to be large enough to actually replace something you would put on your face. Like, this doesn't seem big enough at all. Um, it, it is claiming that it will make your vision better. You can kind of see how blown out. It's just too bright. You know, it'll make it much more... Uh, enjoyable to watch and then uh the, the at nighttime it'll it'll reduce these glares oh my gosh you can see the glare reduction before um, and then also it's just that it's an hd yeah. it's in hd which to me is about pixels not about like lenses 
drive in oh, high volume. definition. Anyway, let's get it out of the box and uh, get it attached. Okay, here it is. HD oh. vision. Um, here are the panels. Uh, they had the plastic stuff on it, which I already uh, took off. So, um, according to the instructions, the way that you put it on is actually this way, right? So, uh, this will be the day with, without, with, without. So, that's kind of what it does. And then the night version is this yellow lens right here. So, it's, it's very bright. With, without, with, without. So, we attach it up here. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna take this out just to give myself some more space. And then it clips on like that. There we go. Oh. That's the night screen, that's the day screen. Here we go. I'm about to go HD. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so honestly, my first, um, here you can, my first reaction is that this is actually a lot wider than I expected. I really thought it would be a tiny little like sliver. This is actually taking up a lot more vision. Uh, so I have to give it, uh, I was a bit overly critical in my first assumption. So weirdly, it does actually, uh, it is a, it is a kind of a sunglasses replacement in that it will, it will knock out a lot of the light coming out my eyes. But there's still, you know, if I just turn my head, <laughs> now I have to adjust my eyes as I look out the uh, the driver's side window or really anywhere else in the car. So that's kind of um, silly. We will have to wait until it is nighttime to test the night uh, version of this. Um, but before we do that, I'll just say this is just really silly. I mean, like, it takes, so this is it out of the way. So let's say you're just chilling in the car. It really is kind of, I don't know, maybe my car is a little uh, small, but this seems like it would really get in the way and uh, is just so silly. I would probably stick with sunglasses. Um, okay, so let's uh, wait until it's night and see how this screen works at night. Okay, so now, as you can see, it is nighttime. It, this is actually what it is suggesting. You push the day one past and keep the night one in the middle position. So you flip that past, you go past, so it now becomes like a little bit of like a sunshade, and then you flip down the night one. Stay up there, day one. And <laughs> stay up there, day one. Oh my gosh, I don't it's think defective. it's gonna do that. It stops right at the horizon. I can kind of look at some of these uh, street lamps and see if I, maybe there's like a flare difference. I see no difference. It just changes the color only. Is there any glare? Any glare that I see, I feel like it just changes the color of the glare. It doesn't actually reduce glare. It's just now yellow glare instead of white glare. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I, it, I drove around a little bit with it and didn't have uh, uh, Josh to help record me. It's no better than glasses. And they, it, this thing cost $25, so. Oh my gosh, I so, was gonna guess 20. Yeah, so just, so it, it, it cost me in the store 25. I was able to find it online uh, for cheaper, but still, I there's just like, no need. Oh wow! Almost ten bucks cheaper. Eleven bucks cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, and this this is just a different, uh, a different. Oh, one. different company. Yeah, different okay. company. But there, and there are a lot of types of this, um, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I, I just it's not for me. I just can't see, and it did take up a good extra like half inch, which. Honestly, did keep catching my mm. head every once in well, a while. Well, you're tall, right? Aren't you six? I am. I'm like I'm basically six feet. Um, e either it depends on the time of the day. I'll be I'll go from like five eleven to like six one, like somewhere in there, um, or the shoes, depending on the shoes I'm wearing. So yeah, I'm in I'm in that range. <laughs> Scooter said it's a dollar. What? Oh what God. is right? I don't see a link. 
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And I have to see, I need to log into AliExpress to not get that bonus offer yeah. um, next time. But yeah, I just think that it's just not very practical. Yeah, I... There's one, one situation maybe where like the sun would be like shining directly in my eyes. I don't want to, do, but I don't know. I also still don't quite get the HD. Like, how does this make this any more HD than the world already is? That makes well. I would wait for the 4K version. I need. Yeah, I can't wait for the 4K version. This is just standard HD. No, thank <laughs> you. Ugh. Oh, oh, there's your link for the buck version. Okay, here. Let's see. Let's and see if I can log shipping. in and get rid of the uh, bonus offer here too. Yes. So see here. Let's try. Let's try. This is the welcome deal. Of a dollar. Oh, it is a welcome. It is a welcome deal. Okay. I'll uh, I'll try to log in in the uh, in the background and see if I can um, get that wow. uh, other other deal. To find <laughs> out how much I have. Christy Bacon said you could attach it to the brim of your baseball cap. We've got to try. Okay. You here know we go. what? This is good. This, this is, is a great idea. This is the way. This is the way to go. This is the. I have way to move to go. the day and the night ones out of the way. Here we go. I, I like it so far here. This is good. Uh, this is good. There we go. Oh. Yeah, no wait, wait a second. Sunglasses. I can't stand this standard definition world. Oh, wow. Whoa. Diggy D, you look at this high definition. I can't believe it. Wow. This is great. Yeah. Boy, so you didn't waste $25. <laughs> Not a cent wasted. Not a Nothing. cent wasted. Yeah, that is that is pretty funny. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to log into AliExpress. In the meantime, let's head into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Um, Okay, hi, Dick and Chad. It's Giz1. This is my first video. I've been watching for four years now, and this is my first video. But I did send in the Gadget Warehouse video for our 4,000th episode. That was an amazing video. Wow. Can't wait uh, to get Giz to that episode. Yeah. Giz, oh, uh, well, 2,000. What, what did I say? 4,000? <laughs> yes, just kidding. <laughs> um, 2,000. Uh, Giz1, a.k.a. Mark. And here is his video. Perfect. Hey, Dick and Chad. This is uh, Mark Giz1 here. I was I was the one who created the uh, slideshow for episode 2,000. <laughs> Um, I had a lot of fun making it, and I really appreciate you guys enjoying it. So I got a pretty interesting gadget for you guys today for the warehouse. Um, this is my first get warehouse video, but uh, here it is. Hmm. Can you guys take a guess what the uh, heck it is? A survival kazoo. The nice chair. The chair. Oh, that was going to be... Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it's an inflatable canoe. Uh... Well, it's definitely a compass. Yeah, I see the compass. And here's the other um, side of it. Oh, whoa. Oh, is that say... Is that a thermometer? Thermometer? Yeah, I think it's a thermometer. No, it looks like... Oh, it is a thermometer. I think so. It could be a... It's a. Uh, it's like a uh, bug. Right, you know, so like a bug bait. This is a really cool gadget. I and mean, I've been wanting to show this on the show for a while. It is a compass. Ooh. A whistle. An LED flashlight. Oh! A magnifying glass. Oh. Or a fire starter, depending on... Oh, it could be. <laughs> depending on how you use it. Uh, just keep that one in mind. That's a great survival yeah. tool. Look at that. You got a geode. And a... Uh, oh, a mirror. And a little... Uh, mirror right here that is another survival tool of uh that's perfect for waving down like 
helicopters, airplanes. Yeah, a, a, a signal mirror, right? The signal mirror, I'm gonna, exactly. I'm going to go yeah. into the dark room, also known as the bathroom, <laughs> as Dick likes to call it, and uh, I will show you how the light, the light works. The dark right, room. So I'm in the dark room now, and I'm going to test the LED. Here we go in three, two, one. What? It's a pretty strong LED. Yeah, it's pretty good. Definitely could work in an emergency. Oh, there, oh sure, pretty yeah, I have to LED. put it on something. Definitely, if uh, you're in an emergency, that would be... Be yeah. Pretty cool. So now I'm gonna do a little demo on what it sounds like. Just giving you guys a little heads up. It is. Becky loud. has one of these on her backpack. Yeah. Good. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna blow it in <laughs> three, two. Prepare your one. ears. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. Um, I probably glued my uncle's ears out because this thing is super loud. He probably wasn't expecting that. Um, but, but yeah, um, That's the way you could go. That's out. great. Yeah. That is great. <laughs> now, uh, some of the, some of the, I found it on Amazon for six dollars, I think. But it looks like oh yeah, scooter, yeah, it's six on Amazon. But Scooter X said it's a buck. Oh my gosh, we gotta find this. Is uh, that brand Cole Cole? I think that's like the I swear Co I've seen Coglins? that. Coglins, Coglins. I think I've seen that on uh, or at uh, Walmart. So I think that that's a pretty popular. There's another welcome deal. I've tried yeah. to log in, I gotta change my uh, password. So uh, and I gotta log in a different thing to do that. So Coughlin's. can't log in yet. Christy Bacon says Coughlin's. Coughlin's. Oh, Coughlin's. Uh, pretty cool. Honestly, great little device to have. Uh, just like Becky said, just attach it to a backpack, have it around. Um, the little mirror and the magnifying glass and the whistle. Honestly, those three things could easily yeah. save your life. The whistle is the best way. If you Instead of going... Hey, help me out. I'm over here. Blowing that whistle is the best way to get uh, people to find you. Um, that's really cool. Nice. And inexpensive. So we like inexpensive one, gadgets. That was great. It was. And Giz one, uh, what did I do with that? I'm going to wait a couple of days and send you the latest med, which we'll see in a minute when we, at the end of the show. The first look at December May. Oh. So if you have a video, you want to make a video, a warehouse video, anything to do with a gadget, one to three minutes, horizontal format, and just make sure we see the gadget, hear your voice. And if you want, you can be in it too. People, I, I still get mail said, oh, that was such a funny vi uh, video, warehouse video with the guy taking a shower with his gadget. Mad Frank. That was very funny. That was great. That was very great. Um, so, uh, how, do, how do they send in a video? Did uh, just, just uh, It's mail at gizwith.tv. And when you upload it, you'll find a drop-down menu. You can list uh, click unlisted. And you'll get a URL. Send that to us. And that's way only people with the URL will be able to see the video. Uh, don't click private, then only you can see the video. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Perfect. With that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the Gizwiz letters now. Now. Okay, so it's not a letter to the show, but it's... Something that Dennis got that oh. it's it's not it's not a scam, but it, it, it's a terrible thing. Okay, okay. Uh, a little backstory. So Dennis had a very dear friend who passed away late last year or early this year. They would um, Dennis was a teacher for a while. They were art teachers together, but they knew each other for fifty five years or so, and. Uh, she passed on, and someone called and said that she had remembered Dennis 
in her will with some money. Yeah. And this is maybe six months ago, Dennis heard about that. So I was getting the mail and I said, Dennis, this came and it's regarding the estate of and the person's name. Yeah. And he opened it. And there is a check. a check. And then I say, what is the bank? And I look at it yeah. and I see it says, this is not a real check. Inherit, Inherit fast. Inherit fast. So we open the rest of the thing. They will lend you the money. You're kidding. That you are due to get. That is, that is really, like, sickening that they would hide it Yes, in because a Dennis, Dennis started that, crying yeah. with the memory again. Yeah. And that yeah. she would think to leave him something. Yeah. And then you realize... That's a company trying to that it's sell an you ad. a loan. It's a, it, it is a freaking ad. That's, that's ridiculous. And... So I Googled it. It turns out a lot of companies do this. They're called probate, uh, probate advance. Oh. And probate, uh, probate advance fees range from, 20, from 10% to 50% of the total inheritance amount. Yeah. 20% being the common rate. Yeah. Now, Del, pa Del Paco says in the chat, like payday loans. This is a... It's like you're you're guaranteed money to come, and so they'll give you a loan based off of that. But yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, they'll if, take if, a huge if you're desperate, chunk. if you're desperate, this could be a, a saving thing. But but they they obviously ad, intentionally made that mail look as if it was yes, yes. That is yes. sick. That is sick. And also, it's like well, that's I, a, that you know that company has zero reputation, and they're only doing it to to basically scam you. And you're right; it may yeah, not be yes, a scam. exactly, exactly, exactly. That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, this company is called Inherit Fast. I will not. Uh, I will uh, inherit I, I, I never. Could, I them. couldn't believe it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't believe anyone would have the. I can't believe they would send you that mail. Like, like that's ridiculous. Like, like, I don't know. Just like uh, the balls, basically. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't yeah. know how. I've been trying to figure out a different way to phrase that. The balls. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Yeah. No. Um, so. Um, yeah, that's and, and, and that for them, good, to, good, to, good to spread the word. Is keep that. Is, yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing is, yeah, sorry, sorry, they know the amount that he's going to get, and they know the person's name. That's... Oh, the check was made out to the amount in the will. And the front of the envelope says... I, so Crispy is saying that amount must be... Yes, it says yeah. regarding the estate of with the person's real name. It's ridiculous. The yeah. gumption. There you go. Sims to Rachel found the politically... The, the gumption. The, 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 the yeah. gumption. It's the, the nice yeah. way to say that. Thanks, Sims to Rachel. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, uh, uh, thanks for sharing the story and, and, and telling people about it. Yeah. So if, and I feel you, if so you're... bad for Dennis too. That's yeah. No, it's terrible, man. All right. Well, well, uh, transition away from that. You know what we do love our fans and our patrons over patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for your support of our show. Uh, we love you guys so, so, so much. And if you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash Gizwiz is the place to support us. Or you can have on, head over to our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website, and there's a tiny little link there that'll take you to PayPal. Uh, and that, this is our website. We'll be live with a live stream. Make sure that you join in the chat room and chat along with everybody because it's a fantastic group of folks. Uh, highly encourage it. We record just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. So just head on over to the website around that time and the live stream will be there. 
Uh, head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website, where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you're ever needing a link back to a gadget or a product, uh, gizwiz.biz is the place to go. Ooh, that's not gizwiz.biz. <laughs> there we go, gizwiz.biz. And while you're there, play What the Heck Is It? And we get to preview... The Mad Magazine, this is the gadget that you're guessing for, but this is the Mad Magazine that you're playing for. Do you, do you they know? will win the December issue of Mad. Dun, dun. I got an advanced copy. It comes out, I think, October 8th. Politics 2024 <laughs> with 20 original pages of material. What? Yeah. 20. Did you write? Some for uh, it? I, wrote, I wrote something about Alfred New Newman's uh, presidential campaign. I did, I did, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is great. That is great. Uh, that uh, 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 cover looks amazing, too. And coming out in December, right after the election. Uh, coming out uh, October 8th, I believe. Oh, October. I see, I see. October, yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah, still, yeah. perfect timing for the election. So, you get on over there and guess the gadget. This is the gadget, the whole gadget, not just a piece or a part of the gadget. And uh, this is uh, obvious uh, what this gadget is to me. Um, it's just a little bit starched, but uh, that is the classic cat belt. It's just, it's just a bit starched. Okay? Oh, it's just a bit, okay, it's okay, just a bit, okay. You know, it's just rigid. Uh, but yeah, you know, the, the uh, if your cat needs a belt to hold up its pants, that's your gadget. Well, uh, you get a guess over gizwiz.biz, six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>